So here I am again today in the beautiful city of Newburgh, New York. It's wicked windy. I don't know if this video is just gonna be like nothing but wind noise because I don't have one of those little windscreen things over my camera thing. Anyhow, today I'm talking about the world's dirtiest child's bicycle, the Trek Mountain Lion. The last time I had a Trek Mountain Lion, the stem was jacked up so high that it was stunning to me that no child had ever been killed on it. And that bike is still sitting in my backyard, unless someone stole it. And I, I hope they did, because I don't want it. But this one, the stem is appropriately uh, adjusted, close to it anyway. But the rest of the bike is a filthy mess. Look at all this ground in dirt. I can just wipe it off with my hand. Look at this right here. Alright, I'm going to lick my finger. What a disaster this bike is. But the odd part is... Oh, look at the little tiger paws on the seat. The bike's in nice condition. See, it says mountain lion. You're good with branding. You gotta make sure you're riding the mountain lion. It's designed for the animal in you. Apparently the animal in you doesn't know how to wash your goddamn bike. Whoa, you know what I think this was? I think this kid who owned this bike worked in a coal mine. Right? Do kids still work in coal mines? Oh my god. See, I think the kid who owned this bike worked in a coal mine, and every day he'd ride to the coal mine, and this is just coal dust. You can't even see where they bought it. So, my advice to you is, send your kid to work in the coal mine and you're gonna give him a Trek Mountain Lion bike, make sure he stops at like the car wash on the way home from work every day and just at least hoses the thing off. Or tell him in his contract, like if he's in the coal miners union, just negotiate with the, the coal mine people so that they'll give him a hose. Like, so he has a, a a, a bike washing stipend attached to his salary. Because this is preposterous. Things filthy. Hello. Oh, that leaf kind of went, came and went. So there's a mountain lion right there on the fork. There's some more ground in dirt. Here's the computer. I wonder if this computer can calculate how thick the layer of schmutz is on this bike. And little mountain lion paw grips and a bell that doesn't work. Oops. And check out the tires, mountain lion paw tires. Can you imagine that? Like if a real mountain lion was chasing your kid when he's on his bike, you could have be screwed. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to wash this thing or not. I'm thinking about selling it on Craigslist just as it is so I can make a funny ad. But people on Craigslist are really stupid. And they don't get humor. They'll call up like, uh, I call in about uh, the bike. Uh, I can pick it up uh, next Tuesday. Uh, can you deliver it? Uh, I'll give you five bucks. So who knows, maybe I'll just leave it right here against this pole. Because other than the dirt, it's a nice little bike. But, world's filthiest bike. At least as far as the uh, child thing goes. So, whoever owned this bike, shame on you for letting your kid work in a coal mine all day.